All right, guys, so John here from IncomeMesh.com. If you've been following along, we have gone through the process of setting up an entire online learning academy where now we can accept payments through WooCommerce. We can create free and premium courses and even support our students with Q&As and forums and all that good stuff. The last thing to really scale this and make a real business out of this is to enable the marketplace feature so that other instructors can come onto your brand, create a course about their passion on your platform, and you both get paid for it. So we're going to set that up in this last video here and to do that we want to come back into our tutor lms settings and we can head over to the instructors area and a couple things we want to check a couple things is the course marketplace you want to allow instructors to upload their own courses to your system and i'll show you what that looks like you also want to make sure you have an instructor registration page which this sets up automatically for you which is great and finally here's one where i'll give my word of warning you probably don't want to check this one. What this means is some any any instructor that you have approved can go in and publish a course automatically without your review. Um, doesn't mean they can't create courses. It means that they can publish it without your review. So I would recommend you keep this unchecked. They can still go and make it and put all their stuff together, but they just have to send it for your final review before you publish it to the world. Probably a good idea. Um, unless you have thousands and thousands of instructors. And then finally, the become an instructor button. This is so if you want people to publicly be able to request access to become an instructor on your platform, you want this guy checked. Otherwise, you'll have to kind of do emails back and forth and go in and add them from the, the dashboard. So we'll, we're happy with the setup. That's good. And also while we're here, I want to go ahead and set up revenue sharing. So what this means is that if an instructor has gone and made a sale, if they're selling a course for $100, let's say, um, you can set up what percentage of that $100 goes to you as the administrator of the course or the administrator of the platform and what goes to the instructor as the, the instructor. So by default, that gives you the 80-20 where you get 20% and they get 80%. And you can also deduct fees in case you want to I don't know, be weird and say like hosting fees, you have to maybe $5 for course for hosting, whatever. Um, you can put fees in there as well. Um, and it'll also show a statement for the, the instructor uh, um, in their own dashboard there. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and save these settings. So now we have revenue sharing and we have the ability for instructors to sign up on the platform. So to see what this looks like, Let's go ahead and head back over to the dashboard. And this is one of our new students we just created. And now you'll notice a new button comes up here at the top, which is to become an instructor. And so this allows anybody to request access. And this is kind of weird that it goes straight here to another field and all they have to do is hit this button. Uh, let's go ahead and take a quick look to see if there's settings for how they actually um, sign in. I don't think so. I think the... The process is really just clicking the button, uh, which is kind of weird. I would like to be able to add forms and like maybe ask them some interview style questions on their form. Let's let's take a quick look at that page just to make sure we're covering all our bases here. So under instructor registration page, yeah, it shows a registration form. And maybe I just haven't seen it yet, but I don't think there's any place for you to customize the registration form yet. So once they request it, you might still need to talk to them a little bit and have a little interview style before you give them access into your website. So now that we're here, we can just apply to become an instructor and all that does is puts you in the queue basically and it'll say that your status is pending. And from the admins perspective, when you hit the refresh button, you should be able to see under your instructors that we have an account that is pending. And what you can do is you can decide if you want to give them access or not, and you can always, you know, re not give them access, or you can hit approve here. And once you hit approved, it'll show that they're approved. It'll kind of turn everything on so they can start uh, building courses and create revenue. So this instructor now shows that he's approved and something new here is that now he has access to the dashboard of WordPress. So he can come in here and he can see the dashboard, but, Oh, let me put the username in. And so here, don't worry, they, they can't go too nuts. They can't mess with your plugins or anything like that. They can create a blog post if you allow them to. And most importantly, they can create courses in Tutor LMS by coming here and clicking on courses. And now they can add their own courses and it looks the exact same as you as the administrator. But what's changed is over here, they have to submit their course for review. 
and then you'll be able to go through and decide. Let's just make a quick course here and add a simple topic. Okay, so that's the bare minimum there. We'll go ahead and submit this one for review. And you as the instructor will be able to see under your courses, or all courses, I should say, that um, new account is there actually currently editing it. And we have one here that is pending for review. So you can very easily filter between which courses are your own, which courses are already published out there, and which ones are pending review. And so you can see it. And you as the course owner, I'm going to take over control. because That's how I roll. And you can decide if you want to publish it or not. So that's a nice little easy way of having some content protection, some access uh, protection, and, um, and all that good stuff to manage your course. All right, so that has been the quick video of how to get your online learning platform up and running. I hope this was helpful. If you are interested in learning more about Tutor LMS, you can head over to my affiliate link, incomemesh.com slash Tutor LMS. And I wanna cover real fast before we sign off here, the benefits of the pro version and if the pro version is right for you. So within your WordPress dashboard, again, I'm still on the free version here, but we can see all the pro features. If I come here to the add-ons, you'll be able to see the certificates where students will be able to download and use their own certificates of completing the courses. That's huge if you're working in a workplace environment and you need to show proof they actually did something, or if the courses you're creating are for corporate type of environments. Attachments add multiple files to your courses. You obviously, you know, being able to have some attachments is great, but multiple attachments makes a ton of sense as well. Being able to preview the course. So this allows you to see maybe lesson one of every course and that allows them to kind of get a better idea if that's the right uh, uh, course for them. And uh, so that makes sense as well for uh, for selling courses. It kind of its own little sales funnel where you can start to see a little bit of the course and pick out a couple cherries to let them have uh, in the beginning there. Sending emails, this one makes a ton of sense. We didn't really cover the announcements feature so much, uh, but if you had the premium version attached in there, you'll be able to send announcements and they'll be notified over email instantly, which makes it so easy to keep in contact. You don't have to worry about the syncing between your email marketing platform and your online course platform. It's all super simple when it's done this way. We've covered adding an instructor to a course, but you also have the ability to have multiple courses, multiple teachers in a particular course. So if there's three people teaching one specific course, you don't have to separate them into three different courses. You actually have the ability to set up revenue sharing and course control uh, with multiple instructors on a single course. Prerequisites is huge. If you want to set up like an, a learning, like a school where you have 101, then 201, then 301 for a particular topic. The prerequisites add-on allows you to do that, and it makes it super simple to handle as well. And last and most importantly is the reports. So you might think a oh, reporting isn't that important, but if you're stepping away from just being the one doing all the work, and now you're kind of managing how the business is performing and how the machine is working, you have to have a great analytics engine, and this one gives you that, where you can essentially see which courses are being enrolled in, how the teachers are doing, how the questions and answers are flowing, and have a good feel for what needs to happen next to keep your business growing and thriving. So guys, that was a quick, deep crash course into Tutor LMS. I am super impressed with this plugin. You know, I'm gonna go out there and say, this is a new plugin. It has not been around for as long as some of the others in the learning management system space has been, which is honestly a good thing because what I can see is they have taken, they've learned from the other platforms that are out there and they've created a very seamless process. It doesn't give you all the flexibility that some other platforms have given, but it also keeps it super simple, which, you know, you never want to underestimate the cost of complexity. Uh, if things are complex and you're trying to have multiple instructors come into your platform, they're going to leave. They're going to go and go someplace else where it's a simpler process. So I think that Tutor LMS does a great job of bridging that gap between feature set and simplicity to give you a really awesome result. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a like up, a, a like up. Please give me a like, a thumbs up, and share the video. And, uh, check out Tutor LMS. I think it's a good plugin. Um, I've appreciated learning it and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.